Hey guys, it's Vanilla here. Um, I'm just showing you some stuff in the content browser, uh, different static meshes that you can bring up. You can bring up uh, axe, like type in axe in the search bar. It brings up all the different kinds of axes. This is this is for decorating purposes only. I still don't know how to uh, create a equipable item. That is done with this tool up here called Kismet, which is uh, it's insane. Very complex stuff. I'm sure it's easy once you figure it out, but right now it's complex. You know, all the static meshes from in the game are in here. You know, you can put them down on the ground, rotate, you know, to your heart's desire, yada yada yada. So, one thing I'll show you, I guess, right now is maybe a small fire. Let's make a fire. Okay, I'm gonna make a fire. You will go to content browser, go to the search, type in fire pit. Uh, no, fire, fireplace, that's what I was looking for. So say that's, that's what you come up with, the fireplace right there. And you feel like, hmm, that looks too flat. So I'm going to go to here, press space until I find this one, and click this non-uniform scaling mode right here. You cannot get to that by pressing this. You need to manually click it and grab that one. And ooh, look at that. That looks more solid. That doesn't look, you know, flat and ridiculous. So cool, I got my fireplace set, but there's no fire. So what I want to do is deselect static meshes, type in fire, um, particle systems. Uh, let's see, what does this do? That looks pretty good. And there's no smoke on that one, so you know, if you have trouble breathing, um, you know, just select that one, or delete if you want one with smoke. Yeah, it has smoke. And notice how it's kind of purple, that's because I have it selected, so just press escape and it deselects it. Looks good. So, we got our particle system, select, I'm gonna place it, er, I'm gonna place it sort of more in the middle, and uh, Let's visit our fire. Oh my god. I still don't know how to make it so that it hurts you. Um, but there's no sound. So what do we do about the sound? What you do is click all types. Go down to sound wave. And campfire. Double click. You know, it's it's not that loud. Let's go to, I don't know, let's find huge ass fire. And right here we can have this like really awesome fire sound. It's like <laughs> That's funny. Anyways, here, large fire. Take that, put it on there, and uh oh, no, 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 no. Oh. There we go. Now I got my fire and it has sound. Um, I want to add a glow to my fire. Let's go to actor classes, type in point, and you will grab this thing called a point light. Notice how it sort of lights up the ground around. So take that, place that there. Eventually, I would like to learn how to make it, like, be animated, you know, so it's sort of doing that. I don't know how to do that yet. Anyways, press F4, go to light color, make it, like, orange, whatever you think. I don't know if it's a blue flame fire or something like that. Do whatever you want. There you go. Press OK. Uh, radius, obviously, you can see what radius does. 
when it lights up around it. Brightness. If your fire is made out of like thermite or something, there you go. That looks pretty good. And uh, yeah, that's basically it. You can add light shafts if you're feeling insane. There you go. But anyways, moral of the story is I've added a light in and my lighting needs to be rebuilt as said down here. So when I want to rebuild lighting, uh, you, you don't want, while you're testing out your map and while you're creating it, you don't want to do production lighting. That's, that's nuts. Go to preview, select preview, press OK. Now this uh, is building the light mass. It brings up this thing. Don't be scared. This is not a virus. Swarm agent is not a virus. It's just showing you what's going on with your computer. What your computer is doing or what the program is doing inside of your computer. So right now it's exporting the scene. And uh, Basically, that's it. Voila. It just takes a, a little bit of time to finish. Close that. Once it's finished, um, all the shadows that this light produces will be uh, uh, visible, I guess, with when, when you're playing within the game. And, oh, here we go. And of course it brings up some errors and stuff. Just ignore those. Don't don't cry over it. Um, skeletal mesh banner, blah, blah, blah. Just ignore that. They're not critical errors. And as you can see, you know, there's, I don't know, there's a, there's a nice, interesting sort of shadow around here. And mm, lighting quality, medium. No, that doesn't do anything. Anyways, so I've... I've made a fire. If you want to see what it looks like from in-game, press this G thing and hit escape. Gets rid of that cross. And there you go. Man. You've created fire. Tom Hanks style. Um, Uh-oh, I'm in jail. Uh-oh. Um, I want to go sit inside my fire. There you go. You've created fire. Congrats.